I have a call from Host, an inmate at the Correctional Facility of California. This call and your telephone number will be monitored and recorded. To accept this call, say or dial 5 now. Thank you for using. Hey, God. Man, you know, uh, uh, there's a lot of youngsters, man, you know, uh, they're coming into prison thinking, uh, it's all fun and games and stuff, but when they realize, when they come to prison, when they realize it's not, yeah, it's a whole different story. But, uh, you know, a lot of these dudes come in, they think they're coming in for a cause. But it's, it's not a cause, it's the wrong cause they're coming in for. They, 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 they don't like listening to authority on the streets. They don't like listening to the teachers, their parents, they hate all that, right? So they come to prison, and guess what? They think they hate authority on the streets. They're going to come to prison. They're going to listen to the police. They break the rules with the police. The police will write them up. Lose their privileges. They break the rules with the homies. The homies are likely to stab them, kill them, or smash them. Either way and stuff. They think they don't like uh, authority. Wait till they get to prison and told what to do. They're gonna, the homies, not the police, the homies are gonna make their get up early in the morning, get their shit together, and then tie on your shoes, and you're gonna be sitting in your cell and expecting that door to open all day. The door opens, you better have your shoes on, you better be stepping at the cell to look what's going on. When that cell opens, you yeah, they call it the bell. When the, uh, the, when the door opens, that's the bell ringing, like in a boxing room uh, uh, ring. So uh, uh, if they think they, uh, they're going to come in prison and, and be cool and all that, and uh, they, they'll, they'll figure it out when they get here and stuff. And uh, 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 they, <laughs> it's just, you know, I see a lot of these homies, uh, these young homies coming in, man. They think it's cool, and uh, they think this and that. They think they want to put in work and, you know, uh, earn some stripes. And and they think it's just about beating up on somebody, jumping on somebody. When we, well, when you tell them how you do it, you give them a knife and tell them to go do it, they're quick to break it down. Oh, man, I got a date. I'm going home. I'm not trying to get you no more time. Now, we ain't trying to hear that shit. You do this? Or we're going to stab you. And that's just how it was. That's the, and how, how it is. How it is. Uh, uh, ain't nobody trying to hear no excuses. Whatever excuse you're talking about, you're going home tomorrow, it don't matter. You're going to do this, or you're going to get God. you going to run your mouth, you're going to get God. We'll see right through you and stuff. Uh, yeah, man. These hoes, uh, I've been down for so long, hoes. I've seen all this shit happen. It's not even cool, man. These hoes coming in. And a lot of these hoes come in thinking, uh, they just gonna come in, kick it with the homies, and just do their time. That's not, that's not, that's not, that's not how it is. They're gonna come in. The homies gonna lace them up, walk them the track. The homies gonna tell them, look, this line right here, Imagine there's a line right there. You don't see the line, but imagine. You don't cross this line. You cross that line, you're in violation. This is the, uh, where, the, where, the, where, the, where the south side is kicking at. You take a walk. You see that line right there, that area right there? That's where the white's kicking at. You don't cross that line. You cross that line, you, you, uh, you won't get hurt. You see this line right here? That's the, the bloods, that's the cribs. That's our line right there. That's our table. Anything happens on the yard, you protect that line. You better be standing at that line. You better be guarding that line. You better not let no other race come into that line. Not even your homies. You can't even bring your homies to the, to where we're kicking at. You want to talk to your homies like another race? You got to take them outside the line, walk out the line, walk away from our area. You do any of those things, you're in violation of any of those things, the homies will smash you. Uh, 
The homie's going to tell you, when the yard opens, you're going to be outside. You think you're going to be inside the cell sleeping, kicking it, watching TV? No. When your door opens for yard, you better be outside. You don't come outside, we're going to be on your ass. It's mandatory, it's like mandatory yard. Especially on the level fours. Uh, 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 Take a shower every day. You clean your cell every day. You know, uh, you don't be disrespecting people. You keep your head up, but you mind your own business. You pay attention to things. You keep your ears open, eyes open. You see something. But you keep that to yourself. You hear something, keep it to yourself. Uh, any one of those violations and stuff can get you smashed. And trust me, the homie's going to be on you every single time. You think you think you're going to be a uh, hating authority with your family, the police and all that? What you come to prison when the police and the homies tell you what to do? But in prison, there's consequences to breaking the rules. You know, um, a few years ago in the, um, uh, in Salinas, on, on the, uh, Sea Yard, 180, one of the, uh, Asian armies, uh, messed up. So, uh, they sent somebody to go discipline him, but they sent him by himself. Now, instead of, they're supposed to send more than one dog to discipline somebody, but instead they send that one dog, he goes discipline the other one. This call and your telephone number will be monitored and recorded. One of the homies and the homies turned around, knocked him out, broke his neck, Tied him up in a hog tie, broke his TV, and started stabbing that dude to death, cutting his throat, his, his holes. So now the homie's covered in blood. He calls the CO over and says, Hey, CO, gotta talk to you. The CO walks up, she goes, Oh shit. He's covered in blood. The, the, his victim is on the ground in a hog tie, chopped up. That's the kind of stuff that happens when you break the rules of the homies and stuff. You know, there's other issues where homies didn't get killed in their cells for uh, uh, violating the rules, breaking the rules, and being assholes and stuff. You know, it's, it's just... There was, uh, there was uh, another Asian homie that was in uh, Kern Valley. He got killed in this cell. But uh, his family didn't even want to pick him up. They left him brain dead and stuff. Yeah, that was sad right there. But uh, yeah, these are the kind of things that happens, man. There was one in, uh, 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 in High Desert, like in 97, 98, where two of the, uh, uh, two of the homies went to the hole, and it was in the, it was in the hole on the, on the, on the, on the program, they were programming the, the, they went to the, uh, the coop yard where the south side is near. So two of the shot callers came out trying to get at the uh, two of the uh, homies. They say, look, man, this is our yard. You guys are on our yard, so you guys fall on our, or uh, they're trying to say that they fell under the, uh, their rules. Well, the homies wasn't trying to hear that. They ended up taking flight on them dudes. So when they took flight on these dudes, these dudes are connected. They come back to the yard. And some of them dudes ended up getting released back to the yard and stuff, you know. While they were walking in the building, they had the Southerners right there, you know. 
in the hallway waiting for them. This call and your telephone number will be monitored and recorded. When they stepped inside, they tried to, one of them pulled out a weapon and tried to stick one of the homies. The homie ended up knocking him. You know, it was a, it was a riot, big old riot right there. So, uh, when they knocked everybody down, it went on for a minute, and then one day, two of the uh, Asian homies were sleeping in the cell, and the CO in the tower wrapped the, the Mexican store. And when you're at war, you're not supposed to be sleeping in the cell, period. You're supposed to be sooner and more. Well, these two Asian homies, they were sleeping, and uh, uh, when, uh, two of the uh, Hispanics ran in there with weapons, stabbed them like 20 some times and stuff. They both fled. But when that happened, it was like, all right. So that that war right there was for a while too, man. Uh, 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 end up killing uh, one of the Southsiders uh, when they shot they shot one of the uh, uh, Cambodian homies in the arm. The bullet went in his arm and killed one of the Southsiders and stuff uh, that he was fighting with. And they ended up moving all a lot of them dudes to Pelican Bay. When they went to Pelican Bay, one of the homies that was in the hole, another Asian homie, he was uh, he was still mad about the whole incident. So he's over there yelling at the seal, arguing with another Southsider, you know, they, they disrespecting each other over the tier. And uh, so he ended up getting kicked to the yard. When he gets kicked out to the yard, he doesn't tell the homies like, hey, uh, if any of you guys that just came in from my desk got any issues, now's the time to speak up so we can go, uh, go resolve these issues. Well, everyone did except that one homie. He kept it to himself that he has an enemy that's coming up that, that's, that's on the yard that just got out with him from the hole that's, that he was disrespecting. So every time that dude came out, he thought that homie would always go and stand at the table and stuff. Because once you're at that table, no race is allowed. If any race crossed our line, that's, a, that's war, a declaration of war. So they knew not to go to the table. So the homie knew that his safe is about to be at, is at our table. So he goes, he sees the dude walking, the homie goes to the table. A few days go by, every time the sound side come out, the homie keep going to take some fun. He said, you know what, forget this. He got all his homies, they went over there, and that dude rushed the homie on the table. When he rushed the homie and stabbed him on the table, guess what? There's a whole bunch of homies sitting at the table, watching the whole thing, right in front of them. Uh, my old homie is getting stabbed. None of the homies jump in. When they try to jump in, the, the, the Hispanics are like, hey man, uh, no, 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 it's personal, it's personal, one on no, no. The homies sit down. Guess what? Not only did that homie get stabbed by the Mexican dude and left, every one of the homies that was sitting at the table that didn't jump in, every single one of them got stabbed. They were supposed to jump in and help that homie, but they failed to do it and stuff. This call and your telephone number will be monitored and recorded. Their excuses were, well, they said it was one-on-one. -on -one. Who told you it was one-on-one? -on -one? Well, the Mexicans, I said, nah. Yeah, well, the Mexicans tell you, but did you hear the homie say? No, you guys already know. Anybody across the table, it's a green light. But you guys, so every single one of them of whom he got stabbed up, bad too. Now they come to Calipat. Now we all in Calipat, same thing. Uh, a lot of the, some of the homies that got away got to Calipat, and it was the same shit. But, uh, yo, it was crazy, man. Uh, that was a long war right there. Uh, it's that. Right before I came and stuff, the homies got into it with the, uh, the Southsiders. But it was a spur of the moment type of issue that uh, that happened where the homie 
the, the south side, they was asking the homie, another agent, like, hey, yo, what's that honey bun I gave <laughs> They talking about a honey bun. What's that honey bun I gave you to get to uh, so-and-so? The homie said, I put it all exactly on his door like you asked me to. And the, oh, the homie didn't get his honey bun. Next thing you know, these two, those, uh, those agent on me and the Mexican uh, 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 dude, they argue, and next thing you know, they start fighting. When they start fighting, the homies, some of the Asian homies that had the cells open, they come running out the cell. One of them is Kurt. Remember, uh, y'all, you don't, you, you didn't know Kurt, huh? No. The Filipino dude, they used to be over there with the, uh, he used to be around us uh, right there in that area sometime. Kurt come running out and sees one of the South Siders laying down on the floor and kicks his head, kicks him right in the face like he was kicking a football. <laughs> so some of the homies get, uh, got, uh, there was a lot of homies had their cells open. They was jumping out the cells, running out the cells, and the COs, one of the homies, uh, uh, he tried to come down the stairs and the COs. We have 60 seconds remaining. But guess what? That homie that didn't make it to the uh, to, to that little uh, melee, the homies ended up rolling him up because they said, oh, you should have jumped the stairs to get that dude. But how is he going to jump the stairs? But well, anyway, the homies decided that, so they rolled him up for failing to be there and stuff. But uh, that one right there got resolved real quick because it was a spur of the moment thing or a freaking honey bun. The honey bun war.